Problems number 24 and 25 of section 3.6 are pretty similar, so I'm just going to do both of them together. Uh, the first one, 24, uh, says that if you have a positive differentiable function f of x, um, to show that the surface area gener or obtain or the surface the area of the surface um, obtained by rotating the graph around the x-axis on the interval zero to b or a to b is given by this formula here. And 25 asks pretty much the same problem, but asks if you rotate the graph around um, some line parallel to the x-axis. All right, so to look at 20, or to do 24, let's just uh, get kind of an idea of what this might look like. Let's just draw a graph of f of x. We don't know exactly what it looks like, but it doesn't really matter since our answer is going to come from the math, not the picture. So we have the interval a, b. And we want to rotate this around the x-axis. Well, then the surface area is going to be equal to the integral from a to b of, well, I mean, the region that we're going to get by rotating this around the um, Rotating this around the x-axis is going to look kind of like this, where the cross sections are circles. So the infinitesimal uh, surface area for each cross section is going to be two pi times um, the radius, which is it's going to be f of x uh, times dx, so the infinitesimal width, and multiplied by the arc length. So this is 1 plus dy dx, but if we have y equals f of x, this is just f prime of x squared. So you see that this is exactly the formula that we were um, asked to verify. Just pull out the 2 pi from the integral, or outside the integral sign. All right, so what if we change this problem a little bit? So this is moving on to problem number 25. Uh, if we draw the picture so that um, so instead of rotating around the x-axis, we're going to rotate around the um, line. Let's call it y naught. Right, so let's suppose we've got of f before. Now we're going to rotate it around this line here instead. So our graph looks similar. It's just instead of the radius being um, just the function f of x, the value of the function at x. The radius is now going to be, well, um, say you know, any point x. The radius is going to be this distance here, which is f of x um, minus x. So it just changes the surface area formula for, to the integral from a to b of 2 pi times I've got f of x minus x times uh, 1 plus the square root, or uh, square, times the square root of 1 plus f prime of x. Quantity squared uh, dx. And that's the end of 24 and 25.